Apple iPhone Air Water Resistance Test starting now. The thinnest device that Apple has ever produced on the water for more than 30 minutes. This is what I'm going to do. I really think this device has a better water resistance than the other ones simply because it has only one speaker at the top. At the bottom, you only have USB-C port. The device that I'm moving around water or inside water is the iPhone Air light gold version. This one is relatively very close to white, but they called it light gold. The rails of the device are of light gold color. It looks like gold, similar to the one that they had on the iPhone 12 Pro back in the days. So what just happened there, the device went into lock mode and I couldn't see the chronometer. So I had to remove the device out of water really quickly and then shoop, send the device back under water. This device is IP68, which is the highest level of water resistance that an iPhone has. It has been the case for a few years now. The iPhone Air, despite being ultra thin, it is thinner than the Galaxy S25 Edge which also is IP68. So by making the device this thin, they didn't compromise on the water resistance. This device has the same level of water resistance as the iPhone 17 Pro Max. And by the way, I did a video on the water resistance on the iPhone 17 Pro Max already. On Apple website, it is said that splash water and dust resistant. Rated for IP68, maximum depth of six meters up to 30 minutes. This is what is the definition of the IP68 for this iPhone Air. And also this was under laboratory conditions. Okay, I need to address this. I need to move the device underwater in order to make sure that I am not in a laboratory. This is real life. In real life, when you have your device, you go to the pool, you're going to move it. You go to the beach, you're going to move the device underwater. So all these scenarios, the device is moving. This is the reason why I move the device underwater and simply do not put the device in one corner and wait for 30 minutes. And real water resistance test, the device has to be moving. 29 minutes, 30 minutes, the iPhone Air has been underwater for this long and it is about time that I remove the device out of water and do my little inspection. Despite having the thinnest body, the iPhone Air has survived the water resistance test. But I need to make sure that I remove all the water out of this device because water is currently inside the device and especially inside the speaker and the microphones. As you just saw it, the face ID is working. The device has been out of water for more than 15 minutes now and right now I'm going to make sure that the device is fine, test the charging port and try some water eject sound to make sure that it can expel the water that is inside the phone if that doesn't work, I'm going to show you my method to push all the water out. So as you can see, the charging port is not ready. There is still water inside the charging port or moisture that the iPhone is sensing and blocking the device from getting any charge. The first thing that I did was to try water eject sound from YouTube, a sound that can push the water out of the speakers. I tried that. As you can see, there is no water on the mat. This means that it doesn't work. So the next step is to push all the water out with force and gravity, holding the device with one hand and shaking it in order to push all the water out. As you can see, there are droplets of water coming from the device already. So before doing this, I did make sure that I wiped the device and removed all visible water. So this water is surely coming from the front speaker of this device. One advantage of having only one speaker is that if there is any chance of water damage, it has to be on the only speaker that the device has. With devices with two speakers, there are two ports where water can enter and damage your device and maybe not an advantage in terms of sound. So currently I'm pushing all the water out from the bottom of the device on the charging port and right after that I tried charging the device and seeing if the iPhone will let me charge the device. But as you can see or as you can hear it, the device is not ready yet. Pretty sure an hour later, it will be fine. 